Hello, Collective. Welcome back to another reading. Uh, we're going to jump into it. We're just going to use Divorce the Souls and the Rider Wade Tarot for this one. Um, we're going to get three cards. Or two, because I keep hearing the word two, the number two. And that's so funny that I was hearing that. And Fears came out, and Fears is 20. But we'll get we'll get two cards then. Spirit, we'll get another card. Or we'll get two more cards. Okay. Well... These all have to do with the number two. <laughs> all of these have to do with the number two. We have fears, burden of tears, and help. 20, 21, and two. So two is significant. Um, and it also goes down to eight. I mean, seven. Why don't I say eight, seven? I counted an extra number. So let's get clarifiers for all of these real quick. So first, we're going to start with Fears. What is going on with Fears Collective uh, Spirit? Oh my goodness. So Fears, we have the Knight of Cups. Give me two more cards. And they definitely did. <laughs> the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Reverse. So, the Fears seems to be... When you put a lot of emotional effort, I'm also hearing a lot of faith and trust in something, especially with the Eight of Wands, a lot of energy. You have this fear of detaching from it or letting it go with the Four of Pentacles, which causes you not really to rest. It causes this need, this feel to continuously like work or overdo something or do something over and over again um and the divine needs you to really see where this fear stems from is it a fear of not deeming like you're enough because of like the things that you were told or is it like a fear of not completing a task or feel a fear of you not getting what you need to get yeah with the five of swords reverse even there's some sort of like self-sabotage that's going on with this fear that's causing you to feel like things aren't working out whenever they are and there's a the school bus so definitely take time to learn where your fears come from why your fears even exist why is there even a school bus going down there is my question like what Unless they live there and they drive it, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just be very curious with yourself. You know, we have also the nine of swords. There is a lot of lack of sleep because of this as well. It feels like the reason you might be struggling with sleep or or struggling with feeling like you can or can't do something stems from this fear of not being able to let go when you work on something. It's like you work on something, but you want to like. continuously put energy into it to like make it grow more but there's this energy of like you needing to really take time to rest yeah the hangman reverse there's a need to detach so the divine wants you to find out why you are scared not what you're scared of because you know that but why are you scared because with all these clouds here it's like your mind is very clouded at this time you, you you can see through the cracks and stuff, but it, it, it's it's not a clean, clear image. So at this time, the divine really wants you to detect, find out how you keep feeding your fear, find out what you're um, like, why you're even scared of it, and why you even have that fear, and then learn to detach from it because it is causing insomnia. This is causing a lack of sleep, a lack of trust. There's a little squirrel. Oh my goodness. He has a little acorn in his mouth. That's adorable. Oh my god. He's just so, like, calm. I You usually see squirrels, like, skittish and going nuts. But he's just a little calm, dude. Just walking. There's something about that squirrely energy in you that needs to be calmed down as well. Like, that's just what I'm feeling. Yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles, again, this might be something of you not feeling like you're going to reap your rewards if you don't... Like, I can't stop working on this, or I won't reap my rewards, or I can't stop working on this, because if I do X, Y, Z, 
and you need to realize that, that is a fear-based thought process that you're going through and and learn how to deconstruct it we have burn the tears so what is this burn the tears about with burn the tears off the bat i am getting there is something that you're very sorrowful over there's something that you just seem to can't like and with the six of cups it's like you feel disconnected you may feel emotionally disconnected there's since the the fears and the burn the tears both begin with cups so there's something about being emotionally detached the only like and 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 the fears had all the elements the, the the cups the swords the wands the pinnacles and a major arcana so there is something about you needing to check on your emotions come back to your emotions because there's something that you're not harmonizing with especially with all these twos out it's like you're not harmonizing with who you really are or you put this external pressure on yourself because you because of who you are when that doesn't need to really be applied here or there you know what i mean mm -hmm. so we have the eight of swords reverse and the eight of swords reverse is saying that there is a need to declutter the mind this burden of tears is only happening this burden's only happening because of all of these thoughts that you're having and it seems like Whenever you do detach from these thoughts, that's when you feel as if other issues start to rise up more. Because that one main issue was so big and so much on your head that it like it covered up every other issue that you may be going through or every other thing that you're going through. So be sure, yeah, with the star reverse, it keeps you from nurturing yourself. There's the, the burden that you're suffering is a lack of nourishment within yourself. There's, there needs to be more time spent with who you are rather than who people think you are or who you even think you are. There's a need to really feel who you are. Do you feel like doing certain things? Yes or no? Like asking yourself these simple questions. But what else is but this burden of tears spirit? What else can you tell us about this burden of tears? We have death reverse, justice reverse, temperance reverse. Damn. And strength reverse on the bottom. But we have death reverse, justice reverse, temperance reverse. This burden of tears is keeping you from moving forward. This burden that you keep having where you think that you need to do more or think that you're not doing enough is keeping you in this unjust energy to where you're unable to truly attract what you desire because you feel like you're not doing enough because you feel like you're lacking in certain areas because you you're not seeing the the amount in it but with the there's a lot of lessons being learned there's lessons of giving yourself your justice as well like that's a big lesson for a lot of people is giving yourself your justice and that's through nourishment but there's a lack of balance the burden of tears, every card came in reverse. So there is a lot of pessimistic energy coming from this burden of tears. It's like you don't feel like you can get over something. You don't feel like you can stop doing something. You, There's this like halt that, that, that is like present, like heavily present. I'm also getting like as well like there's this because all these twos and like just the way it is with the cups and the swords and the major arcanas for the burn it here this is like your emotions your 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 feelings are not stable because of all the thoughts around you because of all this energy with the eight of wands with all this fear energy coming towards you you're unable to st st stabilize yourself, which is causing you not to nourish yourself. It's causing you not to heal yourself in, in the way that you need to, or in the way that you feel you need to, I should really say. Um, so what is this help, Spirit? What's coming in with this help? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So there is going to be help coming on the material, helping you work through something, helping you with work, um, helping you work through something as well but you have been hard at work at this this has been something that you've been working on and the divine sees that you are and there is 
external help coming stuff so don't feel as if things are are bleak or dull dull i almost said i want to say it makes it seem dim and dull but i don't i don't think that's the thing but the divine needs you to really focus on how much work you've been doing because right now with the page of wands reverse the energy between you and your work aren't necessarily matching your work ethic is good um but it's this this page of wands it was in reverse but i have it up right um this page of wands reverse is showing you that you're not accepting the energy the energy is coming towards you of how much work you've been doing but you're you're still skittish to accept it you're not as open to taking advantage of things as you should be okay they just took three cards and flipped them right on top of the help. We have the two of wands, the three of swords reversed, and the five of swords. So yeah, know that moving forward, that there is help on the way. I have to like situate myself. Hold up. <laughs> so we know that moving forward, that there is help on the way. You are on the right path. There are just these thoughts that are keeping you in this... Like you're breaking away from those thoughts that are hurting your heart. You're going to have someone come in to help. You're getting some sort of help, either divine help or physical help. I feel like it's physical help with the Eight of Pentacles coming up first. That That's going to remove a lot of this heartbreak, a lot of these thoughts. It's going to cause you to look back at the original thought that you had of how things were going. Of Oh yeah, things are going good. Things are working out. This is great. This is wonderful. Things of that nature. Because there is this help coming in. And with the Five of Wands reverse this it feels like you lost this battle but in actuality it, it's the battle is giving you a break it's this rest it's this point of no return that you've passed already that the divine sees and is allowing like this breathing room if you will to to be present to occur Which is very beautiful. I'm going to look on the bottom and we'll take the split. We have the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, all in all, this fear is coming from all of these stagnancies. All this help is coming in because you have a lot of responsibilities on your hand. And you're doing it all on your own. There's this like... And it's not even that you're doing it on your own on purpose for some of you. For some of you, it's just people aren't willing to help it's the it's the matrix of, of people who um like oh i'm not going to help them because i have this this and that to do whenever in actuality they don't even do those things that they have to do it's just a, an excuse that the mind makes at that moment to ignore what the heart wants you to do but you are doing all of this with the four swords coming off as well there is this need for rest there is this need to rest your mental rest your thoughts clear your mind meditate sun gaze do something to just remove the the doubt because where you're what you're doing and where you're heading is is working for you but that is the message two 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 is significant your twos are significant um seven is significant there's a need to just wait and pause though and relax that's the main thing that i want you to know is if, if you've been wanting to know when is the right time to take this rest and take this pause now is the time to take this rest now is the time to take this pause but thank you so much for being here for collective for this reading if you're interested in any bracelet you know what to do hit up Otter spirit within the description um and use code sublunar 20 for 20 percent off if you need any of my services readings books however you can either email me or use the order form but regardless i love each and every one of you to the moon and back tenfold and forever and i will see you later